So it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Bjorn Strid. Uh, he is the frontman from the Nightfly Orchestra, also of Soil Work as well. Um, but yeah, welcome to the show, Bjorn. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, just before we start about the Nightfly Orchestra, I just want to give, because I had David on the show, I think it was like end of last year when you released your EP, the uh, right. Whisper Whisper the Atlantic. And I just want to say absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely love it. It's very cool. It's brilliant. Love it. Thanks, um, man. And it was at that point, just to segue nicely um, already, um, that I got <laughs> into uh, Nightfly Orchestra because I, um, I hadn't really heard you guys before that. And after speaking to David, because we did like we, we talked about it during the interview, and right. um, I listened to um, the Air Romantic, the first part. Um, right. Absolutely loved it. It's like we'll, we'll go into it in a moment, but yeah, just great, great style with it. <laughs> Very cool. Good to hear, man. Um, yep. But we are here today to talk about the second Air Romantic album, Air Romantic. Yes. Theme. Uh, that is what yep. we have. I'll get there eventually. Um, but that is due out on um, September the 3rd uh, via Nuclear Blast. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, for those that haven't heard it, it was a bit of a jump for me because obviously I'm used to your work in soil work. Yeah. Um, and this is this is very far from it, I would say. Um, very far, within, yes. Yeah, it's still within the like the rock genre, I feel. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like the best way I can sort of describe, it, I don't like to compare bands and stuff, but it's like a, it's just like a mixture of say, I, I just go disco, funk, and rock. If that is accurate for you. Yeah, I guess I don't, I don't know if there's that much funk, but mo I, I would say like disco, rock, and 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 uh, I guess some pop too i guess I, I don't know it's it's um i don't know if, if foreigner and abba and uh, i don't know i'm trying to come <laughs> up with something good here for an abba had a baby like that would be something close to it but um yeah. well yeah i mean it's super melodic it's 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 very sort of Sounds sort of like a like a soundtrack to to an '80s movie to to, to make it real simple, you know. Yes. And and yes. Uh, that's only scratching on the surface, right there. I I, I would say, but um, it's it's gonna feel like while listening to the music, it's gonna it's gonna feel like you're in in motion, you know. It's very yeah. cinematic, you know. Yes. And yeah. um, yes, so it's 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 nothing like you hear out there today in the music scene i mean right. we we feel very we feel very lonely <laughs> what we're doing <laughs> i was gonna say but because i mean as i mean of course there's a lot of retro style rock out there you know yeah. but it's 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 usually a, a bit more influenced from early 70s and stuff and and yeah. when there's band influence from from 80s it's 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 still with like a sort of a like a big modern production it's not really the same thing and and um I don't know. There's, I guess, we have more influences, and it it it, it runs pretty deep, and uh, um, it's quite progressive at times uh, as well. But at the same time, it speaks pretty directly to you. So it's, um, I don't know. Just just give it a listen. You yeah. you won't be disappointed. You you'll definitely be surprised, and, like, and hopefully in a good way. Uh, the the people at Nuclear Blast were kind enough to send me a, uh, an advanced copy of the album. Right. And it did. It took me to a place uh, where I grew up, basically. Um, yeah. It kind of gave me that, like you say, it's very cinematic, and it gave me that kind of like that feeling of of, of like a movie eighties montage, if you will, yeah. uh, in yeah. some parts. Uh, VHS yeah. tapes, um, that yes. kind of real retro feeling. You've really captured that sound because, like you said, there's a lot yeah. of sort of bands out there that take aspects from those um, those eras, and a lot of the sort of like retro stuff that I've heard more recently is the kind of synth wave um which yeah. is kind of taking those early um uh synthesizers and yeah. and creating that sort of soundscape with them again um yes but this really takes that like that that the rock element with it like you say it's got it's like it does it feels like abba it feels like um when kiss did their kind of like crossover disco album if you will uh like yeah. i was made for loving you and stuff like that that, that sound um yeah. And 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 it's it. I, like I said, I absolutely love it. It's just like it's just something. It's nothing like that out there right now. There are people oh. that take aspects of that 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 era, but not not really um, embrace the whole or that right. that that sound. And it, it, even the production you guys have got on it fits. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's 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 uh, it's very organic, but still very very exciting. Sometimes organic can be quite boring, I think, but it's like this is organic in the right way, and it's still very sparkly and, and glittery, you know. And <laughs> and uh, and uh, production is is you know it, it's really good. You know, we're happy with it, and it's a, our guitarist Sebastian who does our productions and mixes our albums, and he's 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 done a his best production. So far, I, I think really good. Um, yeah, it is. But I think it's also it, because it's it's like a. I think it's also a way of writing songs and 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 producing songs and performing songs. We do that in in a certain way, and yeah. and, and that's sort of a little bit of a of a lost art, I guess. You know, and I, yeah. so we definitely follow through. Like, you know, it's not just like bits and pieces and 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 like you know, elements that might remind you of the eighties. It's like, it's a way of, of composing too, yeah. you know? And, and yeah. so, um, and that is definitely timeless to us, you know? So it, it's yeah. not a pure nostalgia act. Of course it brings you back. I mean, that's, yes. um, you know, if I said anything else, I would lie obviously, but um, I think it is also, it is refreshing. And then I feel also that we're sort of filling a void in the music scenes, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it sounds so new and refreshing, even though it sounds so old. It's like um, somebody described it as bringing you back to tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds kind of pretentious, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoever said it, that, that's, it's a pretty good point. Yeah, if someone you know? else said it, it's fine. You know? Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah, de definitely. I mean, it's, it's like there's some absolutely like banging tracks on there there's a couple of my favorite chardonnay nights which i know you guys released um yeah. really love that track um is it amber through a window as well yeah uh, that was another one and midnight uh Mar marvelers yeah yeah correct yeah i got that right mm -hmm. sorry i was just that one came off the top of my head i got the other two written down but the other yeah. one yeah um but it mm -hmm. was just like like i said going through that album it does it takes you it kind of takes you back but it also brings you to like here it's not it's yeah. not like a, like you say, a novelty or nostalgia act, if you will, because no. right. the band didn't exist back then. So it's not nostalgia. Yes, it, it takes yeah. elements from that era, but yeah. you've mm -hmm. that way, like you say, the way of songwriting and and mm -hmm. the the sort of the topics of your songs, the lyrics, the way you like you perform them and stuff. It is it is very like of that era, but no one. Does it's very that. authentic, I guess. You know, yeah. That's, that's yeah. There's yeah. like there's a story mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. through the songs it's not just like kind of like over repetition of a lot of pop music where they do that over repetition of of a hook yeah. um mm. you know and 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 that's the way obviously people get the earworm and that's how they become popular these songs are very catchy yeah. <laughs> i've got to say i yeah. have them on in my car i've had them on yeah. in the house my wife asked who's this um yeah. and i'm like <laughs> my wife's like oh, sure, who are they and i said well it's a couple of guys from soil work a couple of guys from other things and I was yeah. like, really um, and she's really yeah. loving it as well. So it's like I'm, yeah. and I'm, kids. Yeah, that's really cool. Like every, everybody's saying, like you know, it's like their wives and girlfriends. Oh, they they're always like my girlfriend was wondering what is that you're listening to, and it's like yeah. I love this. It's like and kids too. I've noticed yeah. Uh, yeah. a lot of kids really get into it, and, and uh, so I don't know. It has definitely a uniting factor, you know. And then and then you <laughs> we play our shows and see people with behemoth patches dancing, you know. And it's like so it's <laughs> like I don't know. It's it's quite interesting. You know. It gives them the excuse to do this because they didn't get the chance back then. Uh <laughs> right. I guess. Yeah. And yeah. it's okay because you guys True. are cool, you see. It's not like mm. some pop factory threw you out. Um no. but, <laughs> but um you also released a couple of other tracks for people because this is gonna come out before before the album's out, but you've got uh Burn for Me and uh, mm. another another great track actually, White Jeans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dead on eighties Miami Vice type stuff yeah. going on there. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah and um yeah no if anyone's obviously you know watching listening right now go 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 do that go listen to it it's you love it it's yeah. fantastic it's kind of yeah. um yeah i mean we've already described what it's kind of it's it's yeah. just good go listen to it it's quality it's just good music I, you yeah. know it's weird i'm i'm, I'm yeah. very much into my heavy music you look at me you think i oh, he's into him yeah but i do like my i like my electronic music as well and, and all that kind of yeah. stuff and and and, and yeah. i love my 80s music because i was I, mean, yeah. I was born at the beginning of that decade i grew up listening to that music in the house um yeah. and i've been fortunate enough to speak to some of those people from back then um that were quite prominent in that pop world like uh mid -your, um who's yeah. responsible for uh, so much music from back then 
Um, yeah. There's, there's been others. I won't, I won't keep name dropping. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, it, and it, it, it just like, like the way you've encompassed it, obviously, I'm, I'm, I take it you grew up in that era as well. Obviously, you're from that era of the world what, that bought a lot of the disco, a lot of the pop music to the world. Mm. Mm. Um, you had some of the, you know, the big notable acts and stuff from where you were, but like coming from that metal side of things, how did how did this sort of like come about, really? Because you and David obviously worked together uh, in in soil work, you know, mm. and and that's a lot heavier and 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 a lot more sort of, you know, on the metal spectrum, if you will. But I mean, your latest EP, it'll probably throw that away because you kind of you went all out on that, especially that that 15 minute epic track yeah. um, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, which i am looking forward to seeing live once 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 we've got shows yeah over here. um yeah uh, but i'm also looking forward to seeing night flight as well because that that yeah epic but how, how did yeah. that come about just to get a bit of an origin because obviously like i said i'm new to the band um mm. and and i don't know much about you got your, your guys's history and stuff apart from you and david are in right. the group so how, yeah. how did it come about why why you know why that sort of why such a sort of departure from your other heavier things yeah i i don't know because I, I think it was needed but i mean it all happened when uh i met david you know for the first time and he was going to join soul work as a session guitar player on a north american tour and we didn't know each other before that and this was 2007 i think it was or eight and uh, so we went on that tour and very quickly we bonded over music and and uh, ended up sitting in the back lounge and listening to music while we we're, you know, rolling through America and looking out the window. And that's that's a that's a beautiful thing to do and, and have a couple of drinks, obviously. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's we started doing that just about every day and got stuck back there listening to music, talking about the aesthetics of, of the eighties and seventies, not just music, everything, you know, the fashion and, you know, what's classic and what's not classic. And it's like, Stevie Nicks is the, you know, is, is the coolest singer in history and she's awesome. And, you know, we worship her and, and I, I don't know, we, we bonded over so many things, you know, and, um, at the end of that tour, we just like we okay, we need we need to do something out of this, you know, because there's obviously something special here, and 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 we need to create our own soundtrack, you know, that yeah. captures this this era, and it's a soundtrack to touring, you know, because yeah. if you play in a metal band, I mean, it, it's kind of rare that a, a extreme metal band would listen to extreme metal once they get off stage, you know. That's let's right. face it, but yeah, yeah. and. Um, so we wanted to create something that, you know, a soundtrack of being in motion, you know, and, and, uh, and that, that was, that was a drunken idea, but it was one of those drunken ideas that actually became reality. And, and when we came home, we discussed it and it's like, oh, let's call some friends like who, who would be up for doing this, you know, who, who, who sort of gets this and, and appreciates that era. And then we found these, these people that are still in the band, except for, for the keyboard player, uh, John is, is, is new for, for this album and, yeah. and um, the latest one. And um, and we when we got together for the first time and just jammed, it, it was one of the greatest musical kicks of my, of my life. It was just, I don't know, sparks were flying. It's just, yeah. it was insane, you know? And, and cause I, I mean, I didn't know I mean, I, I knew I could sing clean vocals, you know, because I've done it with soil work in the past and, and you know, and still am. Uh, but it was a total different musical expression. But at the back of my mind, I just, I just felt like I, 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 I probably am able to do this, you know, and, and to actually get that sort of confirmed when we got together. And like, it was just like, wow, this is a whole new world that's going to open, you know. And uh, we started writing a lot of songs, and, and then we felt like, wow, this is this is so good. We we want to share this with the world, you know. And of course, we started, you know, approaching labels, but nobody understood what the hell we were doing at the time. And 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 so so it it, it took some time. It was an Italian label, Corona Records, who released the two first first albums, and we were really grateful for that that they believed in us. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, Nuclear Blast called me up it's like oh the whole office it's, it's the soundtrack it's a daily soundtrack of the office like we we really want to sign you, sign you guys like wow really it's like so it's like you know it's, it's a it's a metal label you know yeah nuclear blast it's it's i think that was a pretty brave move i mean when he when he listened to our music you wouldn't think that it's a metal label that's behind it but 
you know, they, they, they definitely managed to, to reach beyond, you know, metal fans as well, I think. And, and uh, we also noticed that, I mean, in the beginning, it was, it was very, it was like 90% curious metal fans that, that were already fans of Arch Enemy and, and yeah. Soil Work, you know. But now there's a lot of people coming to our shows that has never heard of Soil Work or, 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 or Arch Enemy. So it's, um, it's definitely starting to grow and it's, it's a, the band has a very uniting factor. I, you know, it's bringing people from different genres together. It's like you see, you know, everything from like, it's like hipster teenage girls to like prog dads with, with ponytails. <laughs> who has been listening to Genesis all their lives, you know, and, and, and everything in between. So it's yeah. like, it's, it has a very, it's very cool. It's a very mixed crowd, you know. So I can, I can imagine. That's I mean, I'm desperate to see you guys live. I mean, I'm desperate mm. to see live music in general because yeah. everything going on in the world. But it's just yeah. like I mean, this this I mean, this is totally it, it's it's brilliant. Like I say, it is uniting. It does bring in obviously it's bringing in the heavier like music people. Um, but like if you're getting new fans as well, that's fantastic. And then you know that could be yeah. the gateway for them to heavier music. Like they go, Oh, he does this. in. I know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like uh, the gateway band. band. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we all need, the yeah. gateway. but no, this is fantastic. Yeah. I absolutely love it. You guys, you guys dress the part in your photos and everything as well. So, you yeah. know, it, it's just kind of like, it is the whole experience. And, um, yeah. Like I say, it's out on uh, September third. It's on all formats. I'm assuming vinyl, yep. especially because that's kind of yep. cool. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be picking up the vinyl, even though I've got a digital copy. I'm going to pick yep. up the vinyl as well. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so I implore everyone else to go listen to it, go pre-save it, do what you do, all that kind of stuff. You know, however you consume yes. your music. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of questions left that I can let you go if that's all right. Yep. Yep, excellent. Yep, sure. um, because I, I know I've only got a limited time with you, so I'm, I'm conscious that mm -hmm. we're close to that. So, um, mm -hmm. what I want to know, um, let's keep it with the night flight side of things. But what are your yeah. like three albums that are most pivotal? That kind of like really kind of like were important to you that you made this style of music. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, uh, I would say Abba Vulavu. Kiss Unmasked. Cool. Um, this is a tough one. Uh, it's really hard to sum up the whole thing. And and uh, uh, Survivor Vital Signs. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. I was, I, the Abba one. I, I was, Abba and Kiss. I was like. It's gonna be it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I love Kiss. Don't worry. It's, it's, yeah, like, yeah. You know, I've got I've got a lot of their albums on vinyl somewhere. You even like the Kissco, the the Kiss Disco, the Kissco. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. The, yeah. No, I yeah. love it when yeah. bands yeah. try and do stuff, different stuff. It's one of those things yeah. like, you know, you got bands that kind of keep doing the same thing all the time. Yeah. They know the formula. They know what their fans want. That's fine, you know, because you know what you're gonna get. But when you get musicians that are willing to try these things like no one thought they would go disco like there's a whole yeah. thing it was very much I know. disco versus like rockers and it was just like you know yeah i think it was a movie about yeah. it in fact there was a what was that for, a detroit rock city um, yes yeah yes. yeah and it's like they'll never go disco and it gets into a fight <laughs> yeah. um but then they end up doing a disco album um, yeah, everybody did pretty much yeah exactly exactly it's like yeah. um yeah. like a lot of people will like a lot of brands experimented with electronic music when that that was a thing um yeah you know and it's just like new styles like new metal was yeah. like rap and metal um yeah. and you got you know you get all those mashing up things i was part of the new metal scene when i was a young girl yeah. in a band and everything so you know yeah. i know what it was yeah. like to cross over stuff um yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and survivor that's a good shout as well that's a that's mm. a really good shout so mm. and i'm gonna go back and listen to that survivor album in fact because mm. i haven't heard that in a long time so um yeah but it's yeah. good stuff they yeah. um yeah super underrated band really yeah uh, yeah because totally. so. totally. everybody just knows that rocky song you know they it's do. like oh rocky they it's do. like but there's so much more you know there is there is so much more yeah. <laughs> um yeah. but beyond finally uh what are your hobbies away from music so when you're not doing stuff for any of your bands uh do you get onto mm. anything else you got any other sort of like you know something that's separate from the music industry well um yeah i like to go to flea markets and i i sort of i like antiques and stuff like that i like uh i mean antiques roadshow is my favorite show especially the 
the British one. I I I love it so much. Um, we have a Swedish version of it too, but it's I don't know. It's getting too hip. I, I like the classic <laughs> English, you know. And so I I like that, and I uh, I also have a corgi, a dog. Oh, cool. you know, a corgi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Queen's dog, and uh, so. Uh, <laughs> That's another hobby. We we've had her for one year, and and uh, and uh, so that, that may come like an interest in itself as well. Uh, beautiful dog, and and so happy, and so up for you know uh, taking journeys and 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 uh, you know play. So that's I don't know. I do other things too, but um, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's some of the stuff that I like no, to do. No, that's good. I like yeah. that. I like that. It's yeah. different yeah. from a lot of people's stuff. I mean, especially the sort yeah. of like flea market antiquing type stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I like, fact, like Antiques Roadshow. I was like, oh, I yeah. watched that. I know. <laughs> yeah. And I've always liked that. I'm not just getting old. I actually did like that even when I was a teenager. So yeah. I, I, you know, uh, my my grandma actually, uh, uh, she had um, um, antiques um like an antique shop, whatever, and okay. she uh, yep. she always brought me to auctions on on Saturdays. Uh, so that's probably what you know where I got yep. the interest from. So I love oh, it. That's really cool. Yeah, no, I love that. Yeah. I love stuff like um, the pickers shows, like American Pickers and stuff like that. Yep, go, yep, yep. You know, they're just they, digging through people's stuff essentially. Um, yeah, I love that. <laughs> but it's good what they find. I love it. Yeah. Um, yep. But Bjorn, thank you very much, sir. I I really appreciate your time. Um, good luck with the album and everything. I look forward to seeing you guys live with it and everything as well. Um, mm. But I will be playing it on my radio show. We'll be playing it in the club as well. I DJ rock clubs, so they're gonna get a shock. Um, <laughs> nice, nice. So uh, they're gonna get a bit of disco rock in there. So, um, but yeah, cool. Thank you very much, man. Have a good rest of your evening. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. And Thanks, take care. Man. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, okay, mate. cheers. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.